Of the many festivals we attend, none has a more objectionable premise than the one held annually in Fruta, Colorado, celebrating a barnyard accident that occurred decades ago. Mike Nedler's Chicken Festival started back in 1999 in a way to honor the will to, will to live of Mike, um, the infamous uh, chicken who lived for 18 months after his head was cut off. My grandfather would cut the heads off and flip them over there, let them bleed out. My grandmother would start, you know, do the cleaning, and then when he got done killing, they'd, he'd help her clean. They got down to the last one, they still had one alive, and he figured he'd see if it lived till morning. And it did. So the next day, he started showing people the chicken, and everybody thought it was interesting, and then a gentleman from Salt Lake, he was in the business of, uh, doing sideshows, and he convinced my uh, grandparents that they ought to start on the sideshow circuit. But when my grandfather cut the head off, he either missed or whacked a little high, and he left the base of the brain stem and one eardrum. I still own the famous ax that decapitated Mike. Got it hung up on the wall of my shop out at the farm. Mike achieved considerable notoriety during his short life. He finally succumbed to his injuries when the eyedropper used to keep his tiny esophagus clear couldn't be found. And the rooster that brought so much inspiration to so many choked to death. But he didn't die in vain. His spirit lives on in the hearts and minds of all the citizens in this small Colorado town, whose slogan could possibly be, come to Fruta, it's a no-brainer. There's never been any documented proof of another chicken that lived losing its head.